Now, if you're a long-term subscriber to the channel, you'll know I'm a big fan of the wah pedal. This is my GCB95F. But what I thought I'd do today, instead of just testing one wah pedal, I was really curious to see just how different they all were. So I got all of them. <laughs> Let's take a look. Now, the first pedal I have on hand is the original Crybaby. The second one is the Crybaby Mini. The third one is the Crybaby Gary Clark Jr. The fourth one is the Crybaby from Hell. The fifth is the Joe Bonamassa Crybaby. We have the Eddie Van Halen Signature Wah Pedal. We have the Crybaby 535Q. I haven't tried this one, I don't think, so this should be cool. We have the 95Q Wah Pedal. We also have the Jimi Hendrix Wah Pedal. Another one I've never tested, should be a lot of fun. We have the Slash Crybaby. <laughs> We have a variation on the Slash Crybaby, so this should be interesting. Hopefully they're different. And we have another GCB95F, which is what mine actually is, but I'll leave that up there for now. And another GCB95. So that's everything. These are all the pedals. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 in this test. I think two of them might be the same, and I'll open them up and double check everything, but... I'm really keen to see just how these sound. Now I've watched a few other videos where they've done wah pedal shootouts with not this many wahs, but still quite a number of wah pedals. And the biggest complaint from the comment section was, I wish whoever was doing the playing played the same part. So we're gonna do a clean pass on all of these and then a dirty pass. And being that we've got so many pedals, we're gonna keep those short so you can skip back and forth. I'm gonna time code everything in the description and link to these pedals as well in the description. So you can check them out if you like one better than the other. Let me know in the comments. A massive thank you to Sky Music for the loan of, I think, all of their wah pedals in the shop. This was super cool of them to do this. I just cleaned them out the other day and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm interested to do this more for my own sake because I know there's these subtle differences between wahs and we'll talk a little bit more about the biggest differences between them in just a moment. All right, so this was an absolute marathon and a monster of a thing to set up, but I got it all working. So we're gonna start with my pedal, which is the GCB95F, and then we're gonna work through the top row and then go over to the bottom row. I'm really keen to test this out. I just made sure they were all working and they are, and some of them have more parameters than others, but for the sake of this test, this just the straight out of box experience, maybe what I'll do a little bit later is compare some of the ones that you can tweak a little bit more to each other, otherwise the video is gonna be just way too long. So this is the clean tone to begin with. This is neck pickup on my tally. I opted for the tally with the Joe Barton Danny Gatton pickups, just so there's no buzz or anything like that in the video. Let me show you my clean tone to begin with. I'm going into my Marshall DSL 40, here we go. GCB 95F and I'll leave the rest of them on screen. I'm gonna play through them all, here we go. Yeah. 
Now some of these pedals feel vastly different to play to each other and that's how they all sound clean. Off camera I had to tweak a few because a few of them weren't doing the wah effect at all until I engaged a specific sort of uh, setting on the pedal for those that had it. So that's pretty much how they all sound clean with roughly the same riff. I've tried to do it as close as I could every single time. There's going to be some variance in there but the attack and all that kind of stuff on the rhythm hand is going to be the same. So yeah that's how they sound clean. Let's try some lead parts now. I'm gonna try and play a quick riff for you and we'll just see how it goes. So here we go. Let's just try something on the crunch channel of the amp now without so much gain. Here we go. So in most cases, the difference between all of these is the Q and the sweep. The Q is the frequency point that comes up in, if you've ever seen a parametric EQ, there's this sort of like pinpoint that comes up and depending on how sharp that is and then how that sweeps across the range determines 
how very different all of these sound and at what frequency they're boosted at. So it's a little bit on the nerdy side, but I'll put something on screen so you can get a visualization of that anyway. Now, in terms of my pedal, the GCB95F, still one of my favorite wah pedals out of the bunch. And not because it's mine, but I liked it better than the original, which is still extremely good. But it's a little bit on the thinner sound. Now, this is all subjective stuff, right? This little guy I really liked in terms of the tone. It was basically very similar in my to my ear than to this one. But <laughs> it just, uh, it's a bit awkward to play. I gotta tell you, especially on an uneven surface, I really found myself struggling to get the uh, the foot placement right and to get comfortable with the sweep. It just feels completely different. I much prefer a full-size wah, but on a pedal board where you just want a small wah like that and it's more stable, it would be fine. I liked all three of these. All of them were good. Yeah, I really liked these two probably the most. So that's the Jimi Hendrix and the Crybaby Slash. Oh, there you go, Slash. I'm not a slash like diehard fan, but I would buy that wah pedal, no questions about it. Now, I really like the Joe Bonamassa wah pedal. I thought this sounded spectacular. It sounded great clean and it also sounded great dirty. So did the EVH one. I gotta tell you, I liked it way more on the drive. It sort of felt louder and fuller with a bit of dirt behind it. The clean tone was still really nice, the clean wah tone, but the drive tone was where this really shines. So if you're looking for something that handles the dirt really well, that's really good. Now this Gary Clark Jr. one, while it looks really cool, I, I found it a little bit bland. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but in comparison to all the others, it wasn't any better than like this, in my opinion. It just looks really cool. But you know, some people don't want anything too pronounced in terms of a toi and what it does, it sounds great. But I don't know how different it is to any of these two. Now, one of these was at this one. Yeah, this one in particular, it works in reverse. So off is with the pedal up and it's spring loaded. As you push it down, it engages the wah. So you're kind of working in reverse, but it works in the correct way. Like toe down is still the frequency going up, the sweep going up. But yeah, because it doesn't rest or you can't turn it off the same way, it's very different. This also has some uh, controls on the side, which I didn't really touch. Let's just go back to this one for a sec. This was actually really cool on the dirty frequencies, or the dirty tones, but maybe not quite as nice on the cleans, but it has a million different controls that you can set on the side. And I'm tipping this might be one of the most versatile out of all of them, given it's got three trim pots on this side, and I think like a six position rotator switch or something on the side here, which when I first turned this on off camera, it did nothing. It was like, like a volume boost, so it's obviously got or it was like a volume pedal, I should say, not a volume boost. So there was a lot going on with this one that um, that I haven't read the instructions for, but I set it to the wah setting and I, I just let it rip. So that's what you heard. Overall, a pretty cool pedal. And this guy on the end was the Crybaby 535Q. I actually really liked it. I thought it was good. I thought it was just as good as any of the others as well. Uh, this one also has two trim pots on the side and a six or seven way toggle switch and a button down the back here as well. But I wanted to keep this fairly fair without going into all the extra settings. Now, if you wanna see a full review of any of these, if any of these have caught your ear, I'm sure you'll be able to find reviews on every single one of these, but overall, they're all great wire pedals. I gotta tell you though, for some reason, I really liked the Joe Bonamassa one. I really liked the Slash one. I really liked mine. And I really liked the Hendrix one. I would be really happy with any of them. Or this guy on the end was super musical as well. So yeah, EVH, if you like a bit of dirt, that's the one to go for. It just sounded really good. So I uh, hope you like this video. It's taken forever and editing is gonna be brutal. So if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. A massive thank you to Sky Music for letting me borrow all of these pedals. Uh, yeah, what a, what a cool shop. So thank you guys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you wanna find out about these in your part of the world, I'll leave some Toman and Sweetwater links down there as well if you're outside of Australia. If you are in Australia, check out the links to Sky Music below. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. This was fun. This was something I've wanted to do for a long, long time. So thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya.